The third of the Queensland sisters is probably the most common in collections actually, so I saved it for last, but it's Drosera adelae. Um, it has these long uh, lance-shaped leaves, obviously different than the other two. Um, they flower a lot. They won't do the weird trick that Drosera proliferae does, so I don't think anyone's getting new plantlets off the flower scapes, correct me if I'm wrong. They do have beautiful little red star-shaped flowers which are really nice, and they're pretty free with those. They do not reseed unless you cross two different clones. Um, there's a giant form that we sell. This is the typical um, Adele form, but the giant form gets probably four times larger. We've had leaves about eight inches on those, maybe even a little bit bigger. Um, and weirdly, you can, you can create hybrids with some of these. Um, best carnivorous plants created um, the only hybrid that I know of, which is Drosera andromeda. I have a wonderful one of those over here. It's the cross between Prolifera and Shizandra. And there's a really spectacular specimen of that cross. Same care, basically, um, but just really super beautiful. And because Prolifera is one of the parents, you can see here that it does the Prolifera trick. There's a new plant there with a little root hanging down. And if we stuck that over here, into the soil, they'll probably become a new little guy. The flowers are Andromeda on Andromeda are also really beautiful. What's going on here? <laughs> but yeah, they have these beautiful round red flowers too. But that's a brand new thing, came out a few years ago from best carnivorous plants in the Czech Republic. But I think in the future, uh, we're gonna try and make some cool hybrids here and I'm sure some other people are trying too.